Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to our Terraria Christmas adventure. Uh, welcome back, it's day seven. Already seven days have absolutely flown by. And today we're actually going to take on Skeletron in expert mode. Uh, but before we do that, we're actually going to go to the jungle to pass a little bit of time and try and find ourselves a queen bee biome very quick. So if you didn't watch yesterday's episode, I actually do not blame you. It got re-uploaded twice onto YouTube and then a third version, which is absolutely uh, cut down a lot. Like it, it got cut about 10 minutes down because of these audio issues that... I don't know why they happened yesterday. So if you haven't seen it, uh, we d we took down the Eye of Cthulhu. We also took down the Eater of Worlds. Uh, I've also got this brand new armor. Hell yeah. Uh, and I've also got... Actually, you know what? That, that's probably it. I think. I think that's it. I think that's all the stuff I did. Uh, so today, we are progressing onwards with bosses. Because I realized two days ago, I need to speed up my actual boss progression. I spent a while... Making the world look a little bit nice with that house and uh, and exploring, getting my accessories. I didn't actually focus on enough bosses as quickly as I should. But, you know, it's fine because I am very, very good at speeding things up. As, uh, as most of you know, I actually did this playthrough where you had to beat the game in a certain time. Otherwise, the apocalypse happened. Well, you know, the final episodes are yet to come out. But don't worry, I, I managed to do it very, very quickly. So, we'll see how we do today with Expert Skeletron. Even though, for me, he's one of the harder bosses. Because I've never been very good at the second half. Do you know when he's shooting out the skulls? I've always, always, always been bad at avoiding them. So, you know, maybe I won't be that quick. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll have to take my time. But we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so yesterday I asked you guys, what did you think of YouTube Rewind? I saw a lot of negative comments about it, to be honest. A lot of people didn't enjoy it. That's actually a shame, to be honest, because as a YouTuber, you know, it's something that all YouTubers really, really, really want to be a part of. So, you know, when people don't like it, it's like, ah, oh, that's okay. So it's a little bit good when I see that. So I actually reset all my Terraria. So there's one thing I need to do, quick heal. Here's a little trick for you guys, mouse free. So you know when you're playing on PC and you've got the scroll wheel? Uh, do you know when you click in the scroll wheel? Trust me, that's the best key for health, honestly. I taught Python that, and Python has never gone back, like ever. He always uses middle mouse for healing. H is so far away from the, the movement keys, whereas you've always, always got your hand on the mouse. So if you can quickly heal by just moving your finger slightly to the right, much easier, right? So, I am trying to find the Queen Bee Biome, but I'll happily take a uh, one of those speedy charms. I can't remember what they're called. Do you know the green ones? I honestly, honestly, honestly can't remember, and I feel awful for it. But I'm sure I'll get it. Once, there we go. An anklet of wind. I remember now. <laughs> okay, I didn't remember at all. So, I'm happy with that. Let's see if we can get that Queen Bee Biome. Oh, there's a little bit of health. I'll take that, because obviously we're going into a fight, so I could do with that. Nice. Now, let's go to the left, to the left, and go up here. I don't usually see queen bee biomes this high up, or bee biomes, I guess. I don't usually see them that high. I feel like they're, they're more down. Huh. All right, never mind. So, one of the good things is I reset my Terraria, and I actually fixed one of the issues I was actually having with the stuttering. As you can see now, perfect frame rate. And, uh, and buttery smooth. So I'm really, really happy about that. Okay, we got a little bit more holly. So I'm trying to decide when I'm going to start building the houses for real. And I think it's going to be somewhere between the wall of flesh and the first mechanical boss is when I'm going to start building up all of the houses so that they're all, you know, ready. So I want a big giant one for all the NPCs, essentially. And I want to finish the, the, the cavern one that we have. I want to do both of those and see how it looks. But I'm not doing it for the minute, though, because I'm kind of, uh, once again, just trying to focus on speeding things up a little bit. Okay, so what I've done to save time for today is I've actually gone over to the uh, to the dungeon and I've built up an arena with uh, platforms and campfires and some torches. And that's essentially all I need 
to actually defeat this, in my opinion. I feel like I'll be, uh, I'll be perfectly fine. So, the expert Skeletron fight is quite long. So, what I will do is I will show the first half, and then probably for the second half, I'll speed it up a little bit, maybe put in some music if it works well. But definitely give you guys that for the second half, because it honestly is a really, really long fight. And I think it's a fight that can get a little bit boring. But we'll have to see. So I've got Iron Skin, Regen, Swiftness, Shine, Night Owl. <laughs> I've also got a Christmas cookie. Because why not, eh? Why not? My master cannot be summoned under the light of day. That's how the old man sounds. For most of you, the old man sounds like this. Hey! <laughs> because you've... Yeah. Because I, you know, I'm the club... Yeah, okay. Right, see you in a sec. All right, it's night time, my dudes. Party time is over. So let's regain a little bit of health. Uh, I should be fine. I'm going to buff up. And good luck to me. Because honestly, I'm not very good at this fight. I'm really not. You'll see. Once those skulls come flying out of its other skull. Yeah. Like, I get... I don't know. I get weak at the knees. <laughs> okay. All right, let's begin. All right, so we're soloing the hands first. And with a snowball cannon, it will take a while. But I'm going to really just try and focus all my efforts on keeping my mouse situated to uh, to the hands. Even though I could be shooting the skull, uh, it's pro it's honestly no... Uh, there's no point to it, because if the, if the hands aren't broken, the skull basically takes no damage, doesn't it? So I'm just going to try my best at keeping this even as well. You know what, this actually might be a little bit quicker than I thought. Okay, let's not... Oh, okay. Don't want to get caught in that, so I'm going to move away. You get caught in that, and you are you are absolutely trapped without a cobalt shield. You get caught in a little cycle of being knocked into it again, and then this, you know, you can't get out because of the knockback. It's a really hard boss for that. It's... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, All right. I feel like it's because I'm trying to rush. There are two factors to this fight that I feel like make it a little bit more challenging than some of us. One is its position in the game because you don't have the cobalt shield so you really do get caught in that knockback cycle and then two i would say it needs a little bit of extra movement skills compared to the, some of the early game ones especially when it comes to the shooting skulls because they have a, a very distinctive arc that slightly adjusts to how you fly so it's not like um the queen bee for example where it will always have that same ai pattern I feel like Skeletron's changes a little bit, so I do struggle with it. But it's good to be challenged, right? I always dread this fight, though. <laughs> okay, so halfway through the hands. You know what? I might not actually have to speed this up, because it is really quicker. Well, it's a lot quicker than I expected. Okay, going well so far. Yeah, I'm happy with the progress so far. I haven't had to heal yet, have I? So We'll see how long that continues for, though. Now Jinx does. Okay. Once again, just focusing on the hands. I feel like I've kept it fairly even. Okay. Alright, I'm, I'm happy with this. There are not many times where I do this fight and I'm like, yeah, feeling pretty good about it so far. Okay. So I've definitely killed the right hand a lot more than the left, so I'm going to take a little bit of time just to, to work on the left. Flying through these bullets as well, which is quite funny. Okay, I feel like these hands are going to go in a second. Okay, got lots of shots on that one then. If I can break these at the same time, it'd be so good. Let's see, am I going to be able to do that? Come on, these hands. Always trying to get evaded. <laughs> okay, okay, there we go. Right, so it's school phase now, so this is where you'll see all of my health drop. Like, it's not, a, it's not an exaggeration. I'm terrible at this part of the fight. I just don't get the pattern. Look, so I've already taken all my hits, basically. Okay, just want to loop around. Don't want to get fall damage. Look, just took 40 health there. Well, 40 damage, rather. I've never had a, cor uh, a corrupt dungeon before. That's actually pretty unique for me. Uh, oh, I just never know how to, to avoid them. Yeah, the second half going not as smoothly. Uh, 
gonna wait. I just don't know the pattern. I take so much damage in this phase. Start studying up. Okay, 19 health. One more hit and we are dead. Oh, really? I tried really hard on that. I honestly tried really hard. It's just, I'm just not very good at that bit. I could do with a better weapon. Uh, and not because this one isn't good enough, because this one is really good. But one that would kill it faster because I'm so bad at that. I really am absolutely, absolutely terrible at that one. All right, well, that's fine. I've got loads of stuff for potions and we'll have another crack tomorrow. But for now, I guess, we go and find uh, Queen Bee and we have a little crack at her. But first off, I do need to make, uh, I need to make regen. I need to get some, uh, some iron ore. I've got some in here somewhere. Obviously, all the chests are unorganized. So not in there. I'll grab some out of here. Okay. So grab some of that. And what I will do is I will grab a Spelunker potion so that as I go around this uh, as I go around this jungle, I can actually uh, look out for some extra chests and stuff. Oh, do you know what I never crafted? Oh no! Oh man, I didn't craft the accessory I wanted to, to craft. That would have actually given us a little bit of an advantage because I wanted to, to combine the Spectre boots with my aglet. Ah. Oh. Oh man, <laughs> what a shame. That could have actually changed things because now I've got the lightning boots, which gives us an extra, actually no, it don't, never mind. It don't give us an extra accessory, but we are faster. Ah, uh, oh man, all right, <laughs> to the jungle. So I have found a queen bee biome and I'm pretty excited about it because I'm also not very good at this boss and I want to see how I do today. Uh, with a little bit more experience because I actually had to face this a good few times in my last series So I want to see if I have made any progress at all Hopefully I have I'm really hoping I have We'll see though Okay, so I don't want to trigger it wherever it is But I also want to get out of here because I need some uh, ah, Okay, I need some of these torches To actually get by because I don't have any torches on me now So I'm gonna grab these and we're gonna go inside like this and put these up and see what happens. So I know where it is now. It's a nice open, uh, a nice open biome. So I'm pretty happy about that. I'm gonna build some stuff up and we'll see. Oh, I've, I've almost been my platforms. Okay, got some torches. Nice. Okay, let's wait for this worm and then we'll get an arena going. Okay, so let's see here. Wooden platforms. Got a bunch. I'm going to do a bottom layer just here. And then I'll get out of here. Granite elemental. <laughs> we'll do a second layer as well. These things curl up into a ball so fast. It's actually unreal. Okay, let's do bottom layer. Oh, I'm, I'm almost running out, so a little bit more. And then we'll do a, a second layer to, uh, to dodge on. Okay, we'll do the second layer around here. So that we got lots of room to actually navigate with. And then what I'll do is I'll actually blow up uh, this part of the actual arena. So I'm just going to get rid of some hive, some, some of these blocks. I've got a lot of blocks in all honesty. That I could really do without. <laughs> I need to organize just a little bit better. So, let's see. Have I got any bombs? Yeah, I've got nine bombs. So, I actually don't have a spot for them to just go. So, I'm just going to put them there. Oh, no, please don't roll. Ah. No, I didn't want it to do that. Ah, get away. God, I'm terrible at this. Oh, there's so many bees. Get out of here, you pesky bees. Oh, there's so many. Get out. <laughs> okay. Well, that'll do for now. <laughs> so let's see how we do then. Buff up. Snowball cannon it up. Okay. Once again, I'm not very good at this one. And one of the big problems is... Oh, really? I got one of these kind of biomes where you can't even hit it because it goes out of it. Oh, no. Yeah, one of the big problems is I don't have piercing shots for the uh, for the actual bees themselves. 
Which could be quite annoying, but don't worry. Okay. Yeah, this part. Let's see if I can actually destroy them and damage the, the queen bee herself. Yeah, I actually can. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Once again, though, I could do with a biome where it actually let me hit her all the time. And I'm hoping I don't run out of bullets here. But I shouldn't, hopefully. Okay, I'm going to swap to one. Smack these bees away. Okay. Right, well, she's staying in this form for quite some time. Oh, get out of here, skeleton. <laughs> well, you gave me a present. I'll thank you for that later. <laughs> Swap to one. Let's see if I can smack her a little bit. <laughs> can you do that? Can you just get up and smack her? I guess so. I guess that kind of works. I'm surprised she hasn't charged me more yet. Maybe she feels bad for me because she knows I'm terrible at this fight. And I've built a, a really bad arena. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right, here she goes again. Firing off her bees. I just get up here and just start smacking her. It might work. <laughs> it might. Okay. I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm fluking my way through this fight. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. At least in this in this fight, there isn't like some kind of crazy phase like uh, Skeletron. Like the second half is not worse, if you know what I mean. Just keep avoiding. Dip into the honey for a little bit, get a little boost of health. I like this. It's the biome that comes with its own regen station. It's kind of cool in that sense. Okay. Alright, swap to one. Start killing off these bees. Give her a little smack. And we'll keep this going. This, once again, is another boss that takes quite a while, doesn't it? Okay. I just want to try and focus on the actual boss itself when she's doing that. And then get rid of the bees later. Most of my shots aren't even hitting because she keeps going into the blocks. Okay. Oh, she's getting a lot faster. <laughs> oh no, she's absolutely draining my health now. Oh no! <laughs> Stop draining my health! Ah! I'm so bad at this one. Okay. I feel like the charges are just going to get even worse and I'm going to keep avoiding the... I'm going to keep uh, getting hit by the charges. Okay. Keep trying to do damage. Keep trying to not get hit. <laughs> uh, 23 seconds left on a heal as well. That's quite some time. Hoping she just stays like this for a little bit longer. Okay. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. These tiny bees, get out of here. Alright, I definitely need to clear the bees. Okay. Uh, okay. Four. There we go. Oh my god. This is a real tense one. <laughs> okay, dip in the honey. When she hits you herself, she does quite a bit of damage. Ah, okay. Oh, what? <laughs> oh, what an absolute failure. I'm so gutted by that. I've had an absolute, an absolute terrible day for bosses, haven't I? I really need to train up. I need to get my, my fingers flexing or whatever. Oh my god. I honestly thought I would win that one, though. I thought I was getting so close towards the end. Even though it was like a constant struggle, I thought I had it. Well, anyway, guys, that's going to do it for today's Terraria Christmas adventure. Thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave it a like. I always appreciate that. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Peace.